Hey, what's going on, everyone? It's Kyle Henderson of BamaInsider.com. Today, as we continue to preview Alabama versus LSU, we look at the LSU pass game versus Alabama secondary, some big time matchups. And of course, it starts with the quarterback, Joe Burrow of LSU, six foot four, 216 pounds, PFF grade, 92.6, 2,800 yards on the season, 30 touchdowns, just four interceptions on the season. Burrow is averaging 350 yards per game. He has LSU's offense in their passing game number two in the country this team can come in they can spin it he's playing at an extremely high level here is a look at his passing chart from pro football focus now we look to the outside left and 20 yards downfield he has a grade of 84.0 between the numbers downfield check this out 98.8 he's completely balling when he goes deep to the middle of the field to the outside right 93.5 so as you can see overall joe burrow can spin it just very impressive numbers across the board when we look closer at joe burrow's numbers now he has some big time targets justin jefferson six foot three 192 pounds pff grade 87.0 55 receptions on the season 819 yards with nine touchdowns lsu has some very comparable wide receivers to alabama's this this team is electric jamar chase is another name to know six foot one 200 pounds pff grade 86.8 43 receptions 749 yards on the season with nine touchdowns big man terrace marshall six foot four 200 pounds pff grade 77.6 22 receptions 333 yards seven touchdowns this is a matchup problem inside the red zone watch for marshall big time playmaker Burrow also likes to go to his tight end from time to time. Thaddeus Moss, 6'3", 250 pounds, and a tight end that can overall just make plays. He's a guy that a lot of people will forget about on this offense, but they'll split him out wide. He can make the catches, and he can have a very big impact on this game. Don't forget about Thaddeus Moss. When we look at the Alabama secondary, it starts with their corner, Trayvon Diggs. This is a senior leader of the team, 6'2", 200 pounds. So he's got some good size on him. He's played excellent this year, very opportunistic player. He's returned a fumble and an interception for Four touchdowns in the last two games. PFF grade 89.2, 22 tackles on the season. He's allowed just 12 receptions on the year. So Trayvon Diggs playing at an extremely high level this season. On the other corner, you have Patrick Sertan, the second father played in the league. So you know he's a baller, six foot two, 200 pounds. He's only a sophomore. He's made some mistakes, but we've seen him continue to emerge as a player. 87.6 grade out. Just really a physical corner. Very good open field tackler as well. And I think he's someone who's really looking to prove himself in a big time game like this at the star position you're going to have Shaheem Carter he's another veteran of this team he's a senior six foot 195 pounds PFF grade 76.9 six pass deflections allowed 17 receptions he hasn't made a huge splash this season so look for this guy to potentially make something happen I mean Shaheen Carter's a playmaker a lot of people forget about him he's from Louisiana so look for these type of guys to rise up when given the opportunity and then at the safety position Alabama has a very dynamic safety in Xavier McKinney this guy's probably the best player on the field at all times for the Alabama Crimson Tide six foot one 195 pounds he's a veteran PFF grade 80.0 he's leading the team in tackles with 56 so Xavier McKinney is someone that can certainly make plays. Alabama's went with a freshman from time to time at the safety position, six foot one, 201 pound Jordan Battle, PFF grade 68.0. So as you can see, he's one of the lowest graded players in the secondary, 17 tackles. Nick Saban does like Jordan Battle and what he's capable of, but there's no way that he's seen a receiving unit like LSU during game time. And then you have Jared Maiden, who's played a ton of snaps, over 400 snaps on the season, six foot, 200 pounds, PFF grade 79.1, 29 tackles on the season. 12 receptions allowed, but Jeremy Aiden is a guy who has a lot of experience as well. So as you can see, there's a lot of veteran leadership within the secondary group. It's going to be a great challenge for these guys going up against LSU's very talented passing game. Now, when we look at these two teams side by side, just check out this matchup. LSU nationally, they rank number two overall with their pass game. Alabama's pass defense ranks number 15 in the country. LSU's passing grade, 91.5. Alabama's coverage grade, 92.3. LSU's wide receiver grade 84.3 passing yards per game for LSU 337.6 passing yards allowed by Alabama 180.3 so when we look at big time matchups you're going to see some future NFL matchups in this game overall it's a great matchup between Joe Burrow leading this talented LSU passing game versus Trayvon Diggs Xavier McKinney excellent matchup on the field on Saturday.
We want to hear from you in the comment box. What do you think about this matchup between LSU's passing game versus Alabama's secondary? Do you think Joe Burrow is going to come into Bryant-Denny Stadium and pass for over 250 yards, 300 yards against Alabama's secondary? Be interesting to see what you have to say in the comment box. Stay tuned as we continue to break this matchup down between LSU and Alabama. It's almost game time. We're a week away. Stay with BamaInsider.com. We've got a ton of great content coming your way right here from BamaInsider.com.